In East Asian and Buddhist mythology, Rama, sometimes known as the King of Hell, King Yan or Yanua, is a Dharmapala wrathful god said to judge the dead and preside over the Narakas, Hells, or Purgatories, and the cycle of SASI. Although based on the god Yama of the Hindu Vedas, the Buddhist Yama has developed different myths and different functions from the Hindu deity. He has also spread far more widely and is known in every country where Buddhism is practiced, including China, Korea, Japan, Vietnam, Bhutan, Mongolia, Thailand, Sri Lanka, Cambodia, Myanmar, and Laos. In Chinese mythology, King Yan is the god of death and the ruler of Diwayu, overseeing the ten kings of hell. He is also known as Yanua, a transcription of the Sanskrit for King Yama. In both ancient and modern times, Yan is portrayed as a large man with a scowling red face, bulging eyes, and a long beard. He wears traditional robes and a judge's cap or a crown which bears the character for a king. He typically appears on Chinese hell money in the position reserved for political figures on regular currency. Yan is not only the ruler, but also the judge of the underworld and passes judgment on all the dead. He always appears in a male form, and his minions include a judge who holds in his hands a brush and a book listing every soul and the allotted death date for every life. Ox head and horse face, the fierce and guardians of hell, bring the newly dead, one by one, before Yan for judgment. Men or women with merit will be rewarded good future lives or even revival in their previous life. Men or women who committed misdeeds will be sentenced to torture or miserable future lives. In some versions, Yan divides DYYU into 8 to 10, or 18 courts each ruled by a Yan king, such as King Chujiao, who rules the court reserved for thieves and murderers. The spirits of the dead, on being judged by Yan, are supposed to either pass through a term of enjoyment in a region midway between the earth and the heaven of the gods, or to undergo their measure of punishment in the nether world. Neither location is permanent, and after a time, they return to earth in new bodies. Yan was sometimes considered to be a position in the celestial hierarchy, rather than an individual. There were said to be cases in which an honest mortal was rewarded the post of Yan and served as the judge and ruler of the underworld.